Howdy Frigid family, I'm Dr. D. I'm the Director of Education at the Frigid Fluid Company. Today we're going to be discussing why embalm with silicone. According to Nelson Sanchez, the Director of Sales at Frigid Fluid, one of the most commonly asked questions that he hears is, what's the deal with silicone? Well, Let's take a deep dive into why we've developed a silicone line, including 36 plus and others, and why it's so popular with embalmers in our community. Silicone is an anti-foaming agent. Every embalmer knows the addition of water to an embalming machine can agitate the solution they've created and cause embalming chemicals to form bubbles and vapors that they'll be breathing in the prep room. In many industries, silicone is used as an anti-foaming agent to minimize exposure to chemical vapors. They literally spray silicone compounds on top of foam and help suppress the vapors. Silitech fluid line has an anti-foaming property and has been observed to minimize the formation of bubbles and formaldehyde vapors in embalming solution. That's kind of a bonus. Silicone is a humectant. Aldehydes dehydrate tissue. There's no getting around that phenomenon. Embalmers use aldehydes to fixate tissue. The chemical reactions between an aldehyde and a protein result in the loss of a hydrogen. That's dehydration, people. Embalmers have added for years humectants to help tissue retain moisture. Silicone has re been reported in white papers as helping the body tissue retain moisture. Additionally, embalmers who use the frigid Silitec fluids are reporting minimized dehydration effects on the tissues of bodies and an overall natural tissue feel. Silicone technology is commonly used in cadaver preparation so that the tissue has a more natural feel during medical school dissection. Silicone is a surfactant. Embalming chemicals are diluted in water. Water is the most commonly used vehicle in embalming solutions. Water has some very special properties. One of these is that water molecules are cohesive. One water molecule will stick to another water molecule, forming what's known as hydrogen bonds. In the narrow capillaries of the body, hydrogen bonding can make it very difficult for distribution and diffusion to occur. Silicone decreases the molecular cohesion of water. This is actually described as making water wetter. This facilitates the movement of water through those narrow capillaries. Silicone is inert and this facilitates the diffusion of aldehydes systemically through the vascular system. Embalming chemicals that utilize silicone technology are reported to have a much more robust distribution than those lacking silicone in their formula. What is observed is thorough saturation of superficial and deep tissues, allowing for greater preservation. Distribution and diffusion are the goal of every vascular embalming. What we've discussed here today is how silicone helps overcome molecular cohesions, how silicone makes water wetter, how silicone allows for moisture retention and allows for systemic distribution of embalming chemicals throughout the body. Additionally, silicone is widely used as an anti-foaming agent and can reduce the aerosolization of formaldehyde, minimizing your exposure to embalming chemicals and your staff's exposure as well. Frigid Fluid has been an innovator in the funeral industry for 130 years. Our objective is to equip the funeral practitioner with the tools they need to serve their communities. Silicone is definitely one of the best innovations we've had. If you've enjoyed the content of this video, like, subscribe, and comment below. If you have any questions about the content of this video or any questions about embalming at all, just add those to the comment section below.
As always, everybody, stay curious.